Hey guys, this is Omar MC, and I wanted to make a quick video tutorial for you on how to make an audio visualizer video in FL Studio. So if you have the latest version of FL Studio, there's actually a plugin in there called Z Game Editor Visualizer, and you can make videos straight from FL Studio that are professional and look good and have effects uh, in it, just like After Effects, Adobe After Effects, if you've ever used that to make videos. And it's way faster than After Effects for exporting. So what you do is come to your uh, mixer and you'd select Z Game Editor. And I already have mine in there. And then a screen like this is going to pop up. So that's your, your preview window. And then this is your effects window. So to make your videos, um, you want to add content first because you have to load the images in there first and then they'll appear in the the main uh, section over here so to add pictures you just click the add pictures button you go into your pictures on your computer you can select whatever one you want um, so I already have one selected but if I wanted to add this one to the project I just click it I click open and it would add it to these this list right here of all the pictures I've uploaded uh, and you can add videos too. Um, you can add a personal video from your webcam. Um, there's definitely a lot of things that you can do in here. So this is a legit uh, video uh, creator. And then to actually make your videos, you come into the main section. And mine's all the way over here now. But you'd hit that plus symbol to add new effects and new layers to your video. And for the first image you always want to have your main image the the main image background so for this one i have this um free photo of uh mlk because i'm doing a video upload of something that had a an audio of mlk in it so i'd hit that plus sign if i wanted to for this to be the first one and i'd Hit that drop down menu, scroll down to image effects, and just hit image. For image source, those are all the um, contents that we uploaded in that previous screen. So I'd choose the, the image that I wanted to be the background image, and I'd place that first in my main content area here. But I don't need this channel anymore. Um, so I just wanted to show you how you add new layers. Okay, so just some just some effects um, to go over to to make the videos look like this. This is the main image for to change the color of it. You can change the hue, uh, the saturation just changes how dark the hue gets. So it's on purple right now. If I drag it all the way to the right, it gets really purple, and then just uh, drag it to the left some. It's just a hint of purple in the background. The lightness is obviously how light or dark the photo is. Like that's really dark. That's about as light as we want it. The size, uh, you always want your size to be full. Position X and Y is how it uh, goes left or right, up and down. And width, is, width and height are pretty self-explanatory. The audio shake layer is if you want the picture to bounce up and down. So if I play this song right now, then this picture will bounce, which I'll show you. So you see the background image is bouncing a little bit because the audio shake is only on the background image because it's directly after that in the project file. Like this audio shake is not on any of these other effects because it's before them. So you have to place it after them if you want the effect on those two. Um, so a vignette is, and I hope I'm saying that right, is this, that effect there that, and if you want to turn on effects, you can just hit it and hit it. Um, but it's like that it, it helps focus on the center of the image and you can play with those settings here. Um, this is an effect that's called It's Full of Stars, and that's on the background effects. And that's those little stars that you see popping up in the middle of the, the song. 
and for audio source you always want to hit master so to drag your song in you know you go to your your files on your computer and you can drag your mp3 in and it'll have them there um, and then the audio source is master so the stars are actually you know dispersing at the the pace of the song uh, which is pretty cool and then um, so for that's another image source that's just this image going in the center of it and I can play with the size and things like that um, and then the last effect is the blur. So this is that audio ring that you're seeing here. And to get to that, you'd go into uh, peak effects and then polar, linear. You can do a bunch of different uh, audio visualizers. But I'm choosing the polar, which is the ring. Um, and you can play with the color of that, the, the radius size, where it is on inside the picture, how many bands it has. So um, like all these little dots are the, the amount of bands. The threshold for, you know, uh, if you just want it to be on the base, you can have it just be on the base, or you can have it be uh, more of the audio spectrum. Uh, the thickness of the band, the softness, um, the rotation of it, um, and inverse magnitude means it's just it's going the other way. So instead of going out. And that's, uh, that's about it. So to export your video when you're done with it, done playing with it, you go to settings, you go to export to video. So I'll just, that would be one here. So if I hit OK, um, you, you know, and you want your uh, preset to be YouTube HD um, for advanced export settings. For me, I have it at frames per second 60 because you know you want your visualizer to be very clear and very fluid so I have the frames per second at 60 you can have it at uh, 30 um, it just might not be as smooth so you have to play with that uh, too but those are the advanced settings um, and to name your file you just hit browse and type in your file name and then once you're done with it you'd hit OK and you always want to export the song file in um, in whatever file it was uploaded in. So if I uploaded an mp3 uh, to the project file, I'd want it to be mp3 and not wave. And then I'd hit start and it would export the video and it would be in whatever specified file you have for the export to video file. And that's about it. Um, that's how you make your videos uh, with an audio visualizer in FL Studio. And